What's going on guys? So I am out here at the Hershey RV Show, North America's largest RV show, and I'm going to show you something pretty incredible. So occasionally I get folks that say, hey JD, you need to focus more on truck campers. And the folks over at New Camp are really, really big into this space. They have beautiful, beautiful campers. They have teardrops. They have all these compact towable units. They have the tabs. They have all sorts of really, really great, great well-built RVs. That's the key. Their stuff is built really, really well. And I happen to come across this what would you call it? The Cirrus? The Cirrus 920. So this is the Cirrus 920. This thing's kind of big. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty good size camper. Um, is this the largest camper that you all have? It is. It is. Okay. We had produced the 920 a few years back, kind of put it on pause, and we wanted to reintroduce it. It's bigger gotcha. and better this time than ever before. And this is a Proto. Correct. But do you plan on going to market with it? Yes, we do. Very cool. There'll be some changes from the Proto, of course, just like any other model. Okay. But we will go to market later right. on. So the part that people want to hear is what I'm going to go over right after I get back. Hang tight. I'll be right back. So first off, I have to give a big shout out to my friends over at RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring these videos. All their beds have a 10-year warranty and come with free shipping to anywhere in the U.S. We love our RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Use promo code BIGTRUCKBIGRV to receive a 25% discount. Link in the description. Thanks again. Okay, so I asked, first thing I asked was, what does it weigh? Uh -huh. 4,000 pounds dry. 4,400. 4,400 dry. Correct. Let's assume it's going to have a GVWR adding maybe an additional thousand pounds to that, roughly total. Um, once you fill the water tanks up, once you load the yeah. stuff with all your stuff, and, and that's probably a bit water. of a stretch. There's big water tanks. It's a 45 fresh, a 35 gray, and a 25 black. Okay. And it's not a cassette. Things to keep in mind here, what's an appropriate tow vehicle? So. I would not put this behind any single rear wheel truck. It's just too heavy. You're not going to have the payload capacity. Yeah, yeah. You're going to want to run a modern one ton dually truck. Uh, even an F450 is going to be a challenge for this because the rating of the F450 is only going to be like 4,600 pounds. Even though we know it can carry more than that because it's underrated, but it, it this, what Ford puts on the sticker is like 45, 4,600 pounds payload. Unless you get like a regular cab version, but not a lot of people do that. If you're getting a crew cab truck, you're going to want at least 5,500 pounds worth of cargo capacity, which is very achievable by Ram, GM, and Ford. You're just going to have to make sure that the truck has it. Now, if you get like a super high trim King Ranch, Platinum, Denali, that, that payload capacity is going to drop slightly because you're going to have a bunch of luxury amenities on your truck that will take up that weight. That said though, any modern dually crew cab truck with at least 5,400, 5,500 pounds worth of cargo capacity should be able to support this. Once you do that though, I don't recommend hitching up a boat, hitching up all the other stuff that people like to put on their trucks over the cab because you're certainly gonna go over that weight rating once you count for people inside of the vehicle, once you count for water in the tanks and supplies. So I know I just went over a lot there. The key number here is we've seen truck frames fail because they've put stuff like this on and then they've overloaded the truck in other ways as well. So just be careful. When you get something like this, know what your numbers are. Most modern dually crew cab trucks with at least 5,500 pounds of cargo should be able to haul this thing without an issue. All right, got all the, uh, got all the disclaimers out of the way. Um, this thing is super cool. So I love the acrylic windows, dual pane acrylic windows. You're starting to see that more of a resurgence in the US, which is super awesome. And you've been putting them on your trailers for a long time. So that's really nice. So yeah, they carry it over here. They're dual pane, which is probably the best part about it. It started in Europe. You're starting to see US manufacturers produce them as well. They're super expensive, but they work really well. I love the awning up top too. It's a legless awning, which is typical of what you would see here, but it also makes it look really nice and sleek. Is there any solar on this unit? Yes, there is solar on the unit. Do you know how much? I do. I gotta use my cheat sheet, I'll tell you. Um, three panels that are 310 watts of solar. Okay, 310 watts worth of solar, which in some ways you need, in some ways you might not. Each, 310 watts each. Yes. Wow, so you're pushing 930 watts worth of solar on this thing. Yeah. That's pretty dang impressive. 930 watts of solar, that's absolutely insane. Um, beautiful, beautiful. So this is a 920 series. Um, I think we talked about this a second ago. You got Asdell composite sidewalls? Correct. Okay, so Asdell on the sidewalls, impervious to water, rot, all that kind of stuff that you typically would see. It does have a walkable roof as well. Full walkable roof. I see it has rear awning also. It has this really cool door. I love this door when I see it on coaches. Few other brands carry it, but it's such an expensive door. It seals so well. It's insulated, and you only see this on premium RVs. You don't see this on cheap RVs. I love it when I see it, though. Check out that bumper. That is crazy. It looks like an aluminum diamond plate bumper. Am I right? Correct. 
And then you got storage, I'm sure, in each one of these, and I'm betting, are they, maybe it's locked? They might be locked. Let's see if that one is. Or maybe it's just sealed up really well. Oh, there we go. Very, very cool. So you got storage on each side. I love that. Great place to put sewer hoses, things like that. So you're not having to try to find a spot for it. They give you the spot. Plus your LED lights. This looks like it's on the back of a chassis cab. Like you would remove the bed of your truck, replace it with this because you have all of this stuff already baked in. You don't need to deal with the tail lights of your truck. That almost seems like that's what this is designed for, like a chassis cab truck. Very cool. One of the things with this is it's closed up. It'll actually compress down. This lifts up and there's a slide out drawer for additional storage as well. Oh, very cool. Very cool. All right. So let's step inside of this thing because it is going to be pretty big and there's no slide outs. So you have to be very, very smart and conscientious about where you put things and how you do things when you don't have slide outs. This is beautiful. I mean, this honestly, I'm going to whip the camera around real quick. This reminds me of like a really high end class B. No slide outs. You see this really cool setup here, induction cooktop, beautiful, beautiful stove down here. Stuff that you would typically see in a larger travel trailer or even a super high-end class B you see in here. This is like, I'm gonna throw a brand out. This is like the pleasure way of campers. This thing is super cool. I love the lockable drawers like that. So they have a solid lock to them and you don't have to worry about opening up. Oh, you have true dovetail, really, really nice hardwood plywoods throughout here. Beautiful coach. Nice struts to hold up the uh, the top. All soft closing cabinetry. Great pantry spot right here. All soft closing. I love that. Two wardrobes. One you in get front, your wardrobe one here. Cap over. Wonderful. And I'm assuming wet bath. Surprise me if I'm not. Dry bath. Dry bath. We've okay. So check this out. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Or is that a porcelain toilet? That is a porcelain toilet. You have a huge mirror in here as well. Porcelain bowl sink right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Check out the size of this shower. Now it's not extremely tall, but it's a good size. I mean, you could be upwards of six feet tall and fit in there. Beautiful. Just have this really nice little uh, shower door for you as well. I was not expecting that. That is game changing. You guys may have earned yourself a sticker on this one. I hope we should have, yes. Check this out. I love this racetrack lighting throughout the roof. It is dimmable as well. That is super nice. This is a brand name that everyone should be looking for these days. Truma makes absolutely phenomenal products. I think most people know this already. Truma is kind of synonymous with really, really good water heating solutions, heating solutions, and air conditioning solutions. You see these, again, in a lot of those super high-end Class B vans. And it's great to see that that's what they're using here. In terms of the heat system, we're also using, I don't know if you're no, go ahead. on this. Um, we're also using the Aldi 30. Oh, so bus. the in-wall heating system. That is correct. So basically, I'm gonna have to find out where the air, oh, there it is. So the air gets sucked in through here, it moves past a radiator system, and then it heats, it's the same system that heats your water too, right? Correct. So the Aldi system, again, Class B. You see these in $150,000, $250,000, $300,000 Class Bs. Very expensive system, a little hard to main maintenance if you need to because it's all behind the wall here, but it really requires no yes. maintenance. Um, no maintenance as long as you know how to use the system. You know, there is a little bit of a learning curve. You do need to learn how to use the unit. And once you do that, you're good yep. to go. But so again, it's, it is super simple. cool. There's a lot of things out there to help people learn about it so that they are comfortable with it. And that's the key. Yep. And I think I had this backwards. Does it suck the air through here and blow it out here? Yes. Yep. You don't want it sucking in all the dirt. That's yep. why. Yep. All right. And there's your Aldi controls back there. Very nice. We do have our microwave listed up here. Okay. As well. So they have a microwave up here. Is that a convection microwave? Uh, it doesn't say convection, but you have an yep. oven. Yep. So convection yeah, you really don't oven. need that. Right. Very nice. All right. Let's see what's going on with the refrigerator. 12 volt refrigerator. Very nice. And that is eight cubic feet. And it's an isotherm. Some people may not know this brand. This is not as well known in the RV industry as it is in the yachting and boating industry. Isotherm is a very, very well known brand. Super cool, love the dinette. And then you have a, is this a queen size bed? Yes it is. And it looks like a full length queen size bed. It doesn't look like an RV size. You have storage all around it. I love how flush the storage is, how well built everything is. This is absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous trailer. Love the pass through. This is so when you hook it up to your truck and you have a window in the back, you can see through it. Super, super nice. Yeah, you guys got a sticker. This is, this is, uh, this is pretty off the chain. This is nice. 
Thank you. We're really excited to introduce it at the Hershey RV Show. If you're around the area, come out and see it. Definitely um, check it out. It'll have a sticker on see, it, which means it. one of the best in class RVs I found. Thank you so much, guys. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.